Hello my wonderful, wonderful people and welcome back to another vlog. As I say in almost all of these, <laughs> this one is quite special. But why is this one special, Isa, you might ask yourselves. Well, let me explain. This time I planned my walk a bit more than I normally do. So I knew I wanted to go to the Dihua Street. And you will be able to see that. It is a very special street because this one has all or a lot of old houses. This was a tea trading port, so you will find a lot of shops and houses, houses that are built for shops. But they're in the style of old ones, so it was wonderful walking around there. It really felt like being back historically, probably not, because it's still modern, but yeah, the architecture was so stunning and so pretty. I am a bit sad though, because the streets are still for shops. And sadly, I can share with you the smell. There are still a lot of shops for tea and herbs and spices, anything that can be like uh, dried and it smells so good. <laughs> it really does. You will see in the footage that I filmed a few of the, the shops and you will see how much food, how much dried food, how many, I, I have no clue what is what, but it smelled really really nice so yeah the place was wonderful beautiful and i loved the architecture so it was a lot of fun walking around there once i was done doing that i decided to go to the park that's near the river and which is also very close to this street to the dihua street so yeah i went there you will see a little bit of that what I didn't film, because at that point the camera was in my backpack and I was too afraid to take it out, uh, there was a slight wind after I sat at the river for some time and tried to relax, prepare myself for the next walk. Yeah, the wind was so strong that I really did not want to open my backpack anymore. <laughs> so yeah. That was really interesting. It, it was kind of funny. I had to laugh because when I stood up to walk away, because I knew that once I'm through these, I think those are like floodgates or something. I filmed them before, these big um, doorways that can be closed. So I think it's for floods and things like that. Once I'm through that, it probably will get better. And it got a little bit better, but the wind was still blowing quite strong. <laughs> so. I walked a few meters, thought, hey, over there, there's the big mall, I will go in that. But I didn't, because I saw the sign for the underground mall and decided to go there, because, hey, that's connected to the big mall, so I can just take the underground mall and then go into the big mall. What I didn't know at that point was, one, that I would enter every Weaboo's dream, because <laughs> I entered the underground mall at a part where there's like all the things you would want to see if you're into anime and gaming and things like that. So the gacha shops, the figurine shops, the gaming stores, the card stores, clothes that fit that image. So, And so I decided to walk through that mall. And let me tell you, the underground mall is very, very long. You can go from more or less one station to a completely different one, through only through the, the mall, uh, or to two different ones to be precise. So I walked the whole mall and filmed that for you. So this is the big difference in this video. We start off with the old city, with the city that has um, all of the old trading shops and these beautiful old buildings and we end in an underground mall with all the new stuff with all the weeaboo stuff <laughs> so. so now you know what you can look forward to in this video i hope you will enjoy it and i will now leave you with the footage 
have fun. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next vlog. Until then. Bye.